since long i have been thinking of studying the book of judges to know and understand the story of the powerful samson people know about the story but there was more to it when i read the chapter 13th of judges during that time the israelites were in the clutches or under under the philistines they were in captivity with them during that time when they prayed to god god did listen and he had sent a deliverer through a child there was a good couple there the name of that man was ma noha we all know about the noha with the flood he is ma noha his wife was barren and then an angel visited the wife once and told her that she is going to bear a child and certain guidelines the angel told the wife the woman was told not to have wine unclean food while she is in the family way with the child because the child will be the child of god a nazarite who will be full of power strength and the greatest power was given to him by god to deliver them from the hands of the philistines therefore she went and told her husband about it they prayed again to god to send the angel back again to know how they have to do and what they have to do in bringing up the child so god had sent the angel back again into their life and he came and he said the same things that the razor should not touch his hair he should not wine and dine with any hard drinks he will not touch a dead and he has to he has been made and brought to the world specially to deliver the israelites from the hand of philistines so he has to keep himself very pure the child was born with great strength but before that when the second time angel came a very wondrous thing happened after he explained to the husband of the wife about the child and his bringing up they asked him to stay back and have a meal but the angel refused they never knew that the angels don't eat it is written there in the bible chapter 13 of judges so he said but you can give offerings to the lord burnt offerings the burnt offerings is of the grain so they did that and to their surprise and even to my surprise because i had never read that before in that detail the angel got up went into the fire and ascended into the heaven with the flames it was such a miraculous thing to happen this gives up gives all of us a teaching we as humans don't understand that god is very powerful and we are very very small in front of them though we consider ourselves very powerful because they find power in the evilness more evil they do more powerful they think themselves to be which is not so the will of god is very strong therefore then when the child grew up god had to reveal his powers but he used his own will in doing things whatever he did he was always hiding from his parents 
If he wasn't hiding, he would have been saved a lot, many times. He went to a place called Tema, which is in the Palestinian territory. The Palestinian women are very beautiful. He fell for a woman and he wanted to marry. When he told his parents, his parents objected to it, that why are you marrying the uncircumcised family girl, whereas we will find a good Israelite girl for you. But he did not listen. He went ahead, ahead with his plans. And while he was there, his parents were also with them, with him and they were traveling. Suddenly a lion came in front of him. With both his hands, he tore the jaws of the lion. That is the first time he was revealed of his powers. But the man who was the father of the girl initially refused for the girl. Later on, he did find a way and returned back to get the girl without telling the parents. While he was on his way, he found the carcass of the lion, the same one that he had killed with both his hands. And there were bees inside it with the swans and honey. He put his hand inside it, took the honey and started licking and walking. He sinned again by touching the dead, which the angel had told him not to do. Again, he did not tell his parents about it. He was continuously sinning and doing things his way, which was wrong. If you tell your parents, today's children also, they will always tell you and guide you the correct ways. But he was hiding all the time from his parents. Again, when he went there, he was refused with the girl to come, though he had quietly married her, but the father refused. He said, you went away, you are coming after a long time to take her back and I have already given her to your companion. The girl was already given away. He was furious, so furious that he took some foxes, tied their tails, torched their tails and sent them through the vineyards. And there was a big fire in the Palestinian territory of, in their vineyards. When they came to know who has done it, they were furious. They wanted to kill him, take him in captivity. But he was given a lot of powers by God so he could, they couldn't do it. He took the jawbone of a donkey that he found and he killed about thousands of Palestinians with that one jawbone that kind of a strength he had. Great power, great strength given by God. Now it happened again, he fell in love. And not before that he fell in love, he went to uh, the prostitutes. And he was in a certain place where he was having a night with that prostitutes and they came to know. The people were waiting for him to get up in the morning when he would, they will capture him. But he took his own time, got up. He had powers in his hand, so he was not never afraid of anyone. He went. People would live in the walled cities. So he went to the city gate, holded two pillars in his hand and broke the entire gate. Took the doors in his hand went up to the hill of Hebron and threw it down there. After a while, he went again to a certain place where he found a very beautiful woman. Again, he fell in love. Nothing he was telling his parents ever what he is doing. And he was continuously displeasing God. God had a purpose for him. He was to deliver the Philistines from the Israelites from the hand of Philistines. But if he had not sinned and told the parents about every sin that he was committing, they could have stopped him. But he never told anything to his parents. He fell in love with this one now. She is Delilah. Delilah is known as a harlot. She was a trap by the Philistines because she was very beautiful. And he was absolutely in love with her. And he would come and stay with her, spend times with her. 
Now the Philistines had already bribed Delilah that each one of us, the high lords that they were, they came to her and said, we all of us, each one of us will give you 11,000 dinars each of silver, shekels of silver. And you find out where that strength is. There is something inside of him that is called a strength, which is making him do things and we are not able to capture him or do anything wrong. She kept on pestering him, pestering him many times. Right from chapter 13 of Judges, you can see in chapter 16. You read and you'll find all of it. It will be long, so I'm shortening it here by not saying what, how and what tactic she was taking. Many times and many times he fooled her by telling her something, different story about him. But one fine day, under the intoxication of great wine that he used to have, she would give him. He revealed that the truth about himself, about the hair that he has, which has the strength. Rest he has already done wrong, except cutting the hair. He has eat, touched the dead. He has wined and dined with the wrong women. Being a womanizer, too much of a womanizer, where his parents always wanted him to have a good girl, Israelite girl, but no, he wanted to womanize with other people, the other Philist the Philistinian girls, whom he was always attracted to. They were very beautiful too, but he was sinning in the eyes of the Lord. Now, when the last thing was he told about himself, about these powers that he had in his head, that was the end of Samson. She told the captivators, they came, they took him. Before that, they cut his hair. And then they took him as a captive, blinded him. His eyes were taken out. He was put in a jail where he was put in the grinding cell where the grains were grinded. And he was given lots and lots of grain to grind each day for the people in the jail. One fine day, slowly, as the time passed, his hair started growing up again. And, and then they had a very big festival, religious festival. They had a god image of a stone, uh, which is called, uh, they called it Dagon. That's Dagon was his, their god. And they would have a great, great festival, a long festival before for that uh, god of theirs, the stone god. And there were, there's a huge temple in which about 3,000, 4,000 people would gather for praise and songs and dances and all sorts of things were done. So they called him from the prison. Just to humiliate him more, they asked him to come over. He was taken out and some of, because he was blinded so he couldn't see. So the, he, was to, he was to be guided by certain people to come at a certain place. They brought him there at the main ground, at the temple. And he, he was asked to dance in front of them. More humiliation. He danced. And in his dance, he was already feeling the strength is back to him, but he was not telling anyone. He asked a small boy that I'm tired. Please help me to take some rest. I just want to hold the pillars and take some rest so that I can dance further. The boy helped him. With both his hands, he took the pillars showing as if he is resting, but he pulled the pillars out of the foundation and the entire temple fell on the crowd. They all died, including Samson. The story gave us, gives us many, many lessons. First is that the God and his angels are always there. You may feel as a human that you have a lot of strength in you. It is not so. If you believe in God, call for him and ask for help. He sends his angels. 
and he sends people in the form of angels also into your life. Very, very wondrous things happen in your life, which you have not even imagined that this could happen, it had happened. You are quiet over it sometimes because you don't know what to say. People will think you are mad. But those things are happened because God is with you and you are taking the refuge in the rock. And that rock is your God. Secondly, if God has given you certain guidelines and you are righteous in the eyes of God, that is why he has sent the angels to protect you, to help you and to cover you. Do not take the will in your hand. There are certain things which you are not supposed to do as a good righteous people. Then don't do it. Don't at all do it. Don't hide things from your loved ones, from their parents especially. The parents will never uh, let you do wrong things. They will always help you, guide you and they will always make you understand not to do this or that. Therefore, do not hide things. And if you know what is wrong, because your parents have told you not to cut your hair, not to go to the dead, touch, not to take wine, because that's the power that will give, that will that is given to you, and you have come in the world for a certain purpose. God would have blessed him immensely if he had listened to his parents, or if he has told his parents the wrongdoings, they would have stopped them. Many of the children do the same thing today. The parents sometimes give in to the wishes because they have supported them initially also. But if you stay in the Lord, pray to him, he always will send a deliverer in your life who will help you out in the crisis, in the problems, and when even your children go astray, they will Find a way to help them come out of their problems, come out from that situations that they may have gone into because of their wrongdoings. All these stories in the biblical narrations have got a great things to teach, to learn and to understand. If we as a parents understand them, we can also narrate such stories to our children. I make these videos especially because whatever I understand, I feel that through my videos, if the parents also see sometimes, they can also ask their children in then some good mood, let us see, let us watch this. It's a great lesson. A wondrous thing, like an angel getting into the flame of the fire, and, and they, Manoha and his wife see, saw the ascension of a heaven, of an of a angel, through the flames. It is quite miraculous to see that. But they saw that. We too can see the angels in our life. They will come, they will help. You may see them in your dreams, you, they, you may see, see them doing through uh, many people around you. They'll make them do things good for you, help you, protect you. That's all God's doing. Remember that. Every evil people that come into your life will be removed because God opens your eyes to see that. If you have any problems, share with, pe with your parents. They will always find a solution for you. Take the help and be true to yourself. Do not take the uh, all the advantages that God had given you, the power that God gives you. He has given you for a certain reason. Don't use it for a wrong reasons. These are the things that we learn and hear when we read all these stories. They are so beautiful to hear, to see. I make these videos for everyone, the children, the parents, and for everyone to see. And I hope you like them and subscribe them further and watch them. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Have a nice day. And this is Anita Binipal speaking from Masuri and God bless you all.